time doing a project share. This is a trifold trifold folio. It measures five by eight by half an inch. I used a ribbon closure. Uh, the paper line I used was Graphic 45's Mona Moore. I got very lucky to find it at Tuesday morning a couple of weeks ago. And I, I never did get it when it was still being sold in stores. Um, so I was quite excited to get it at Tuesday morning. It's a beautiful paper line. And I'd have to say, I do believe this trifold folio did do it justice. It was originally created by James Spatton, and the video tutorial was done by Tamara Merrill by Comf Country Craft Creations. Um, and I loved it. The moment Jane posted it on Country Craft Creations on Facebook, I was like, wow, I want the measurements. I want to be able to do this. And she was kind enough to share and give the measurements to Tamara to do a video. Alrighty, there are magnet closures here. Oh, let me zoom out so you can see everything when I open it up. Oop, not far enough. Alrighty, flips down and this flips up. And this flips out. And again, flips down and up, and this flips out. You have a waterfall here. This paper punch was a Martha Stewart lace heart. And I'd have to say I'm quite happy with the way this turned out. Um, even my husband liked the paper line and the way it turned out. He requested that I make, because I did get a few of the paper pads when they I saw them at Tuesday morning. He requested that I make a few of them so we have backups for when we go to weddings and I can make them ahead of time and have them ready. Um, I had to make a few changes because I wanted this to match the size of the cut apart here so I had to cut this down a little bit here. And the way she did hers is these two on this side were a little bit different than the ones on this side and I did make them match in size. But um, I'm quite happy with it. I, I love the way it turned out and thank you Jane and Tamara for, for creating this because it's awesome. Thanks for watching.